guy did play Diddy Kong back in Smash 4, and he definitely has a Diddy Kong in Ultimate, but I very, very rarely see him pick him. I think that on paper, this is actually a pretty good matchup, though. But, and it could also just be that Noku is wanting to experiment with the Diddy Kong more. Diddy Kong on the uh, national stage has been getting really good results lately, so maybe he's like, you know, maybe I actually backed the wrong horse with Pokemon Trainer. Uh, but right now, things are looking a little dicey for him. 90%, 106, he's dead? That must have been some questionable DI. I do not think Peach Forward Air is supposed to be killing like that. Not after they nerfed her like two years ago. So, yeah. Oh, that's right, I forgot. It's it's uh, the Noku DI. That's what we used to call it back in the day. But regardless, managing to tie up the percents, but uh, unfortunately, there's an entire sec uh, stock that uh, Player 4 is up, up on him right now. And Noku going for all these trades, and when you're already down by this much, trades are not the way to go, especially considering the fact that Peach's damage output is kind of ridiculous. Not even with the combos that we know that Player 4 can unleash, but also just her stray hits can do so much damage. I mean, look at this, Noku's at 119%. Finally managing to get a single opening with that, uh that banana, but even then, the, if, you com if you consider the damage dealt, <laughs> the difference in damage dealt for each, you know, neutral win, player four is, there's a reason why he is, uh, he is up by so much right now. Right, back to kind of a neutral stance here. I like the fact that player four saw the banana at this arc and tried to get, you know, in between it, and I think if Noku had started moving forward, he would have gotten caught. Fantastic pick up there from Noku, chasing him all the way up to the top of the screen. Gonna be able to finish him off, uh, but already 165%, and Peach definitely has kill options right here, especially considering the fact that that shield is, I think it's a little bit, no, it's not healed back up at all. That shield was so tiny. I thought, I thought it would have a little bit of time to recover, but no dice. That's gonna be uh, Noku's second stock being taken. I do think that he's maybe sort of starting to figure out you know, piece together what he needs to be doing in this matchup. For one thing, forward air. Uh, very good Diddy Kong move, and against Peach specifically, it seems to, you know, Noku at least is getting quite a bit of mileage off of it. Interesting that he DI'd in on the down throw from Peach. Normally I see people DI out, but I guess he wanted to maintain a little bit more stage control. I don't know. Anyway, regardless, this is one of the other problems with Diddy Kong, is uh, he can struggle to kill. Or you get uh, no problem killing at all, just like Noku. Beautiful up smash, actually evening up the stock count here. And this is a lot more reasonable than the last one we had. Oh. You gotta clean up your DI a little bit though if you're gonna make this comeback. Especially when you're trapped at the corner like that. Oh, the dash attack whipping and player four is gonna have a chance to recover from that interaction. First, he's gonna be able to recover here. Gonna have to now get off this ledge on the other side of the stage. Oh, I, I think he's... He was, like, trying to find these panic options. So, he like, right there, he tried to run through player four. I think he was looking for a roll or a jump away or something like that. But when you are up by so much to begin with, when you're in a comfortable, you're not going to throw out those panic options. You know? When you're like, I have so much breathing room in terms of mistakes I can make before I'm you're actually a threat to me, they're not going to go for those, like, you know, panic, you know, rolls, panic spot dodges. Not really. So I understand the, the thought process, you know, for Noku and looking for that, that if he got the roll lead, he could get a lot more damage. But it's also sort of like read the room almost. Like, yeah, I think, I don't think player four is panicking in that instance. All right, game two. I'm surprised that FD was not banned, actually. Um, this is typically a very good Diddy Kong stage just because of how solid Diddy Kong's neutral is. Hold on a second, that was a combo from Noku, but he still took as much damage just from like the two trades that happened in the middle of it. Yeah, now, I will say that Peach, oh, that was so good. So the thing is that Peach's float is a huge piece of this matchup, and it seems that Noku, his two best tools against it uh, are either holding banana or going for that forward air. Fantastic bait right there, going for a solid punish. But uh, the issue with that is that player four has so much flexibility in terms of where he can float and how he can approach and dodge these moves that uh, you know that's still. We'll say this actually this time around, it's pretty even. And considering how dominant that game was for uh, 
for player four. I think that maybe that speaks to an adaptation, you know, the machinations of which are starting to fall into place for Noku. He's still down, you know, still he has to worry about quite a bit right now. But at the very least, it seems like he has a much better idea of what he's trying to go for. Quick aside, by the way, I smell popcorn, and it smells so good right now. You guys, come to Aqua. We have popcorn smell. Anyway, I took a bad moment to uh, to, to comment about the uh, the sweet aromas of uh, of our lovely venue here because Noku taking that stock that's actually really big. It means that right now he can play for the damage, and already the damage is coming out. Look at that, forty six percent. And the fact that he doesn't have to worry about, oh, finding a kill or anything like that means that he can go for these combo starters, these moves that just lead to solid, consistent damage. Look at that, 85%. Nice drift on the up B. Definitely being, you know, very clever and cheeky with the recoveries. But player four, you know, he still took about 85%. Cleaning up the stock right there, but it's the sort of thing where if you're Noku, this is a lead you can possibly play to. The other component is that now Noku has to think about getting a kill once more. And when, while he's mindful about trying to actually end the, uh, Player 4's life here, Player 4 instead can just play to his damage dealing moves, which, oh boy, the damage do they deal. Already 89% dished out onto Noku. I love the placement of that banana. Even with Peach and her float, you saw how the options were limited. Player 4 rolls right into it. I think he was hoping that Noku would maybe hit a button too soon. But nope, the patience comes in clutch. And right now, Noku is uh, oh sitting with quite a hefty lead. 49% already dished out. And he's throwing out this banana, not necessarily in order to grab it, but instead to cut off some of the approach options from player four. And that's why he's been getting put through this vortex, hit after hit after hit that he's eating. And that uh, kind of player four going through the same, you know, the same thing that I said Noku was doing last time, going for big reads to uh, try and make the comeback happen. But Noku is far too com- never mind. He rolls right into that over there. <laughs> I was about to say, he's far too comfortable for go to go for a, a panic roll, but... It, you're never, it doesn't matter how far ahead you are. You're, you're always gonna, the fear is always going to be there. <gasps> As maybe it rightfully should. Even though he's only at 26%, that edge card might have killed him. Nice stuff from Noku. I don't know if Player 4 has his jump. He was forced to, that was so good. Noku recognizing he didn't have his jump anymore. I don't even know if he had his float. I think he burned his float as well. He had to up be high because he needed that extra drift from the uh, the umbrella and being aware of that just goes in for the forward air cleaning up the stock taking game two and now we have another game three listen encore has the best seating in tri-state because uh we always have two people with close seating fighting each other and it always feels like a close game three always close three, two, one. Go. all right game three going to be on tap oh uh, sorry hold up Pokemon Stadium 2. I can definitely agree with this from Player 4. Uh, at the very least, FD was, that felt like a nightmare. It felt like so many times, you know, especially while Player 4 was down and he had to be making the comeback happen. The fact that there were no platforms, no alternate angles or areas of attack, you know, you just have to once more into the breach against Diddy Kong with a banana every single time. That sounds like a nightmare. And so this time around, choosing a stage that at the very least has platforms, and also, I believe, you know, okay. Yeah. Nice damage being dealt onto him. Oh, no jump, though. Yeah, forced to up be in that position. Player 4 kind of lets it happen, though. And I love that. The fact that Float can just create these very slight but very important. Oh, perceptible differences. Another one of those reads. It didn't work out in the last game, but it sure as heck worked out right there. Another one, though. I don't even think that was the uh, slip banana. I think he hit him in the air with it. But converting into a uh, the forward smash, we have things kept really even, which is honestly the fact that Noku isn't falling behind right now. Player for us to start sweating. Oh, I mean, that's what happened in game one, and Noku could never really make the comeback happen. Uh, but this time around, it seems like he's a little bit more prepared in order to find, you know, ways to close gaps, especially between stops. Here comes the ledge pressure, though. No jump. He is done. 
beautiful use of the turnips right there. Cutting off his resources one by one until it was nothing but certain death. And I was saying how Noku has, you know, gotten better at, you know, making these comebacks happen. Oh, we're starting to get to the point where, oh, this is looking very <laughs> mighty rough. We even see these uh, cheeky plays from player four, like the fact he went for a pivot grab, catching Noku, extending his hurt box with the landing aerial. Ah, oh, just a real command from player four right now. And Diddy Kong is the kind of character where when he starts to get taken apart, it can be so hard to put himself back together again. I'd say that Noku, I, I don't know if I'd call him shattered at this point, but he is definitely falling apart at the seams as player four is just dismantling him. Look at this, 131%, and player four is still sitting at two stocks. Is that going to be a back throw? It's not going to kill, but once more putting him off the ledge. There's so much that Noku has to do, he's not going to get a chance to do any of it. Player four taking game three in a two stock. That one edge guard, that second stock, ended up meaning so much, helping him take it to a very convincing victory.